The report is being published now because it's 10 years on from the Deering report and we're wanting to restate our commitment in a new educational age. So much is changing around us now educationally and the church will have to make a, a step up, um, a gear or two I think, in order to resource and uh, provide the, um, the capacity that our schools need. And we have 4,800 church schools, we have a million children, uh, we've got to do well by them. Church schools actually have a, a vision of education which is uh, full and complete. It's a generous education. And I think we are worried that there is a kind of instrumentalism that seems to be creeping in to our educational system. That seems to be uh, that children are produced at the end of the exam line uh, to serve the GDP of the country. Uh, church schools have a much bigger vision than that. We start with the spiritual and we aim for that complete and generous education uh, that is a hallmark of church schools. So um, we are offering something very particular and obviously very popular. I think there will be more church schools and there will certainly be more influence I think from church schools if we can uh, pick up the opportunity that we have. We have uh, that opportunity because many schools will be looking for the wisdom and experience and skill that rests no longer in local authorities because they won't be resourced as well from government and they'll be looking for the kind of expertise which we have so I think there will be a wider family though a more diverse family of church related schools.